Are there any unis that you played growing up that you like? And the whole idea is we've talked to a couple tour players about their attachment. Of course, you get to play incredible places around the world. But are there any munis that you kind of had an attachment to at any point? Like since I've been on tour? No, 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 no. As a kid oh, growing yeah, up, hell like yeah. learning the game. There's a like, place what? called Gaston Municipal. I mean, it's where my story started. Yeah. What? T yeah. Tell me about it. It's the most unbelievable place in the world. It's a hundred. It was a hundred bucks Monday through Friday, June first until September first. So that's where I learned how to had the opportunity to play golf. That's why I started my foundation. I I got dropped off at the golf course, and you know, I, it's a that's all you need in golf. You don't need to throw any balls in anyone. So like, you could play with anybody. Uh, it wasn't anything special. That's what really pisses me off about the world we live in now, to where you can't help a kid like that. No, my parents dropped me off, and I learned how to say yes sir, no sir. You know, there were other kids out there, so it wasn't like rocket science. And I love how in this day and age we struggle with like just being relatable, just talk to someone. Um, so it was very simple. It wasn't like incredible, it wasn't anything they initiative or anything. It was just something that the city did that gave kids an opportunity to play golf. And the golf course is really short. It's 60, probably 60, 600 yards from all the way back. The greens have changed since I was growing up there. They used to be bent greens, now they're just. They're Bermuda. It's really pure. It's really good now. Um, but everybody and their mom played there, you know, in the city. So it was super, we used to, it used to be called the city. The guy that gave me my first golf bag was a guy named, uh, I don't know Jack's last name, but Jack gave me a golf bag. And he used to just hang out basically right by the, that, well, wait, it had a cafeteria in there at the time. So you would just go in there, you know, they would come get coffee there if they couldn't play. It was, uh, I don't know. I thought it was super cool. I thought it was super normal. It's just funny that you know how golf has changed obviously i've benefited from it changing i mean um just the fact that i get to play on the pj tour for a lot of money but in reality it's not about me in 50 years from now no one's going to know what i did they're going to know how i changed someone's life um basically just how i helped someone like that but they're not going to remember how well i played or what i did in golf golf's just giving me an opportunity to do something i love and provide for my family yeah.